the mother of the two. You think those two would ever fight? I don't think they will, but they came close to it. That's Chinook. And Thomas. And there's Brett. You think she'll send him to sup to bed without supper tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie Lindros is here, the mother of the... Well, you, well, you know, they're amazingly alike, similar in appearance. Their demeanor is alike. When they talk, they sound alike. Well, Brett is a lot more outgoing than Eric in his conversation. I think that uh, Brett would like to have some of the skills that Eric has. Brett Lindros is the younger brother of NHL Hall of Famer Eric Lindros. Brett played junior hockey for the Kingston Frontenacs of the OHL and also split time playing for the Canadian national team. In his first year playing for the Frontenacs, Brett was only able to play 31 games, but did score 11 goals and get 11 assists for 22 points, and he managed to rack up 162 penalty minutes. He would play 11 games for Team Canada that year, where he would score one goal and get six assists. It was during the 1993-94 season that Brett would split more time between Kingston and the Canadian national team, playing only 15 games with the Frontenacs, scoring four goals and getting six assists. He would spend more time traveling abroad with Team Canada, playing 44 games in international play and scoring seven goals and seven assists. It was during this time playing for Canada with older and semi-pro players that Lindros's play caught the attention of scouts in the NHL. He was drafted in the 1994 NHL entry draft in the first round, ninth overall by the New York Islanders. He would spend the next year developing and honing his skills in the OHL where he became a presence with the Kingston Frontenacs. His year playing with the Canadian national team definitely helped us play in the juniors. He managed to play 26 games for the Frontenacs, scoring 24 goals and 23 assists for 47 points and limited his penalty minutes down to just 63. Things were looking better and better for the younger Lindros brother as he was set to make his NHL debut. He was never going to be the goal scorer. He was never going to be the team leader in points. He was there for the enforcer and power forward role. In his rookie season with the Islanders, he played 33 games, scoring one NHL goal, three assists for four points, and getting 100 minutes in penalties. His play during the season was cut short to multiple concussions. This would be the story that would plague him in his very short career. During the 1995-96 season, which would be his last in professional hockey, Lindros played only 18 games, getting one goal and two assists for three points, and spending 47 minutes in the penalty box. Whether he was being targeted for being Lindros' younger brother, or as just a big guy in a league with much bigger and tougher guys, Lindros suffered multiple concussions and had to cut his career short. Only playing in 51 NHL regular season games and scoring a total of seven points. As a promising young player that came into the league with much hype, Lindros's short playing career and multiple injuries did open the door to discussions about concussions in hockey. Over the next decade or so, radical changes were made to how the game was played and how penalties were called involving shots to the head. Concussions came further into the light at the end of the 2007 season when Brett's older brother, Eric, was forced to retire due to the same type of injuries. Since that time, the NHL has established their concussion protocol, which has made the game safer today. But had these rule changes and protocols been brought in earlier, who knows what kind of a career Brett Lindros could have had. <laughs> 